welcome to dreamjs today we will learn how to digitize an administrative unit from a geo reference raster map you can see a geo referenced map of bakura district was added to the canvas now we create a polygon shv file now we give a specific name to that shv file in this case we give a name block map of bakura district now click on save after that we change the geometry type to polygon and set the crs you can add several field to the attribute table from this section but in this case we only create a field named as block name now click on okay now we select the shp file in layer panel and click on toggle editing to start digitizing now we learn about different polygon digitizing tool we create a random polygon by left click to see the use of different tool first we click on reshape features this tool is very useful to reshape your created polygon to do this left click inside the polygon and digitize the boundary after complete just right click and you can see your created polygon was reshaped now we select deleted part after selecting this tool just left click above the polygon and the polygon will be deleted now we see the use of ring tools to do that click on add ring and draw a polygon inside your created polygon and you can see a ring will be created now we select the deleted ring and just left click above the ring and it will be deleted let's start to digitizing all blocks of bakura districts in two way we can digitizing block map of bakura one is snapping option and second is split tool in this video we will learn digitizing using split feature tool by using this tool you never face any snapping problem during digitization especially in examination to do that click on add polygon and first of all digitize the whole district digitize the boundary very carefully to avoid the boundary dispute conflict now you can see we successfully digitize the boundary of bakura district now we create the blocks of the bakura district don't forget to save your digitization work now we again click on toggle editing and select the split feature after select the tool click outside the polygon and start 
to digitize the boundary of the blocks. After completing the digitization of block line, left click outside the polygon and then right click and you can see your block boundary is digitized. In this same process, we digitize all block of Bakuda district. Now we digitize the boundary of major block of Bakuda district. Here you can see we successfully created two block of Bakuda district. Now we set the name of the block in attribute table of the SHP file. To do that right click above the layer and click on open attribute table. Here you can see all created polygons. Now we set the names of block in respective cell by selecting them. Just identify the name of the block and select the cell and start to type. We also change the ID of the polygons. You can set the name and ID of all blocks at the end. Now we complete the digitization of all blocks of Bakuda district. Now we set the names of the block in attribute table. To do that we select a block and identify the name of the block and type in the respective cell. Here you can see we successfully set all block names. Now right click above the layer and click on properties then click on label and change no label to single label and select name field in place of value. After that click on apply and click on ok. You can see all label was successfully added inside the polygon. This process of digitizing an administrative unit is very useful and it is very easy. I personally suggest to follow this process. Thank you for watching this video.